Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana, in case you were new. If you are new, make sure you go and subscribe so you can come back for more each day. I post five days a week, sometimes more if I have extra content. But today I'm going to go and shop at Target. And it's not my normal shopping trip. This isn't going to be like a dollar spot haul by any means. But we are preparing to go to Hawaii. We just announced that fun little vacation trip that we are planning with our family. And I like to kind of build up a master list of things that I need to get at the store and go at one time and just stock up on everything. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And there are a few things that are a little bit different that I'm getting today versus what I would get for other vacations. So stick around, I will show you as I'm shopping a few tips and then as well as a haul at the very end. So make sure you watch clear to the end and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, you guys, let's go shopping at Target. It's never a bad thing. Pretty sure my oldest would disown me if I got her this shirt. <laughs> but it's only 4 dollars I should get it for her birthday. She'd kill me. I don't know what it is about the travel section. It gets me every time. I just like want all the little things. So I'm just gonna get some sanitizers for our bags. Some bikes. I think I'll do one per set of two kids and then an adult one. So normally I would get a little first aid kit. But I think I'm just gonna create one out of the stuff we have at home. When it comes to shampoo and conditioner, it's really annoying in hotels to have the little sample sizes, so I actually buy it when I get there in a full size. I need to get the kids new toothbrushes anyway, so I thought I would just get color coordinating ones for each kid, and then we have plenty of toothpaste to share among the three bathrooms. So these sticks are perfect for the face. The kids can just rub it around themselves. And then I also get these chapsticks because our lips always get burnt so super cheap for the chapsticks and then two sticks for three dollars a piece not bad okay so we're back you guys and I have all my stuff that I got from Target and I've kind of put them in separate categories one of them is the stuff that is just around the house stuff that I just remembered I needed aluminum foil sugar and then I saw some conditioner on clearance, so I snagged that as well. I also got some birthday presents for Ashley. Actually, she's completely all ready for her birthday. She doesn't know that I've gotten everything for her birthday. And I can't tell you what she's getting because this is gonna go up before her birthday. So, you'll have to stick around and wait for her to open up presents because she does love these. So, I can't show you what I got for her, but they're super fun. And I think I'm gonna have her do some unboxing videos on her channel. So if you don't know what her channel is, I'm gonna leave it down below. Right now, her name, the name of her channel is Ashley Creates because she wanted to kind of be like me and have one like my channel. But there's like 100 Ashley Creates out there, so I'm trying to convince her to change the name. If you want, um, go over to my Instagram and leave me a comment or send me a DM with what YouTube channel name you think Ashley should put as her channel name. I can change it one more time until I get kind of locked down onto a name. So if you have an idea, let me know. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I don't want to take too long with this, especially because my children are going to be home from school very soon, and I want to have some time to relax. So I'm going to start with snacks. I'm going to pardon the elastics, folks. We've only got a couple more months with these elastics and the braces. Bear with me, but I'm going to wear them during the videos going forward so that I can try and get these off sooner than later. So when I do snacks, I buy a whole bunch and then I sort them out per kid, but I'm gonna show you how I do that later on in another video as we get closer to packing up and getting ready to go. Stay tuned for that. But in general, these are the snacks that we're gonna bring. We've got goldfish, got two packages of them. I've got some fruit leather, pop tarts, and then I've got breakfast bars, partially for the breakfast idea as well as just during the travel day. And then I have muffins. I think I'm gonna make a whole bunch of mini muffins for the day that we're traveling as well. I'll put them into little lunch containers for them to have as a snack or a lunch or breakfast, that kind of thing. So I just got a box of muffin mix. Then I also got some yogurt covered raisins. Got two bags of those because they fell in love with these last time we went. So I got two of those. And then each kid got to choose one candy item. I'm not gonna go overboard and I'm definitely not gonna buy anything from the airport because it's too expensive. 
So I just went ahead and picked out one candy item per kid and they all got to choose. Uh, Chelsea chose the gummy worms, the sour gummy worms. Ashley chose Swedish Fish. We're gonna go with the generic Target brand. Kaylee chose Nerds. And Abby chose Oreo Thin Pikes. She kinda chose the best one. And I think I might sneak some of these into my bag. But don't tell her that. And then I got Jason and I's favorite snack for the plane. I also try and get a gum or a lollipop or something of that sort um, for air pressure when we're going up and down in the air for the little kids. Obviously me and Kaylee can't have gum. So I just got a three pack of watermelon extra gum. And at first I thought, oh, I need four packages of them. So I've got another one. I've got this little pineapple one from the checkout stand area. And then I realized Kaylee can't have it. So, oh well, we'll save it for the ride home. Okay, next I'm gonna show you the things that I got for us that are more like toiletry items and like, you know, more hygiene type stuff. Okay, so you saw me explaining some of these things as I was going about the store. So I just wanted to kind of explain them more because sometimes it's kind of awkward to talk while I'm in the store. But I went ahead and got these toothbrush sets. It's always good to get a new toothbrush when you go on vacation so you don't take any of the old germs with you and you get a new fresh brush. They each came with a travel brush and a toothpaste. There are three bathrooms in the room that we're gonna be in. So I figured we'd put one in each bathroom, that way we always had one available. And then for me and Kaylee, when we are in our brace situation, I thought I'd put one in my purse so that we had one if we were out and about all day, we needed to brush our teeth, so that was perfect. Plus they're in different colors, so there's no argument about whose brush is whose. And then I got some hand sanitizer. I already have the little attachments that go on backpacks. So I just needed to get the little refills for those. Then I picked up some makeup wipes. Again, one for each bathroom. I use them and then the girls use them to take off makeup. I'm not planning on using makeup a whole ton while we're there, but it will happen and we will wanna wash our face a little bit. So I went ahead and got that. And now that we are a household of girls, we're gonna have to start traveling with these more often. So I got the small versions of each of these, different types, um, one for Kaylee and one for me. Um, never know what's going to happen. We're going to be there for nine, ten days, so never know what's going to happen. Come prepared. I also picked up some regular Kleenex. There are six packages of Kleenexes in here, and they're nice and thin, so they'll fit in backpacks and little front pockets and whatnot for when we're traveling and whatnot, so they can blow their noses. Along that same line, I got three packages of baby wipes. It's weird to have to go buy baby wipes and not just regularly have them on hand. Um, this is kind of a first for us when we start traveling because I'm so used to having baby wipes with me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one package of baby wipes in every set of two bags. So like Chelsea and Ashley are probably, probably guaranteed to sit by each other. Kaylee and Abby will sit by each other so they'll share one in one of their backpacks and then Jason and I will keep one in our backpacks. Um, so we can kind of disperse them as we need them. Then I just got a few extra things because I know I'm going to run out before we actually go on vacation. So I just went ahead and got it now. I got some setting spray for myself as well as some clearance chapsticks. These are normally like $4 a thing and they were on clearance for $1.64. So I figured I'm, I use chapstick. I'm addicted to it. I have a problem. I know that I do. But why not solve a problem with clearance? I mean, it's the best thing you can do, right? Okay, so last, I wanna talk about sunscreen because we have a few issues with sunscreen and also I have new rules that I kinda of have to abide by when it comes to sunscreen. So the first thing that we kinda of have a situation with is that Chelsea is still allergic to a lot of different sunscreens. I haven't tested her since the summer summertime, but she is quite allergic to a spray sunscreen from like an aerosol can type situation. If she even gets a mist of it, um, if she walks through it after someone else sprays it, she'll break out on that leg or that arm. Um, and sometimes it can actually spread to her whole body. So we have to be very careful of that. I'm just slowly testing it out to see if she's gonna work her way out of that allergy. But in the meantime, she does quite well with Neutrogena and it's quite expensive. So I actually found this one in the clearance section. Gotta love those yellow tags at Target. And I know it's only an SPF 30, 
but this is the only one they had on clearance. I'm gonna keep my eye out for a bigger SPF for her, but um, she tends to tan quite well, and so I have other options for her face, and so she'll just put these on her shoulders and her arms, and then, you know, it'll be a lot easier to kind of make this last a little bit longer. So what I do for their faces is I get these face sticks, and they just rub it all over their nose and their forehead and get up right up into their hairline and it works quite well. And then they can just rub it in and it doesn't irritate your eyes. That's kind of the biggest thing with these is that you don't, I don't like to put sunscreen on my face and the kids don't because it gets in their eyes and then they get it wet and then it stings. These face sticks do not irritate our eyes. So I love these. They're worth a little bit extra. They're $3 a stick here at Target. So I like to get these as well as a chapstick sunblock. Our lips get fried when we see the sunshine. Um, so I always like to keep these in our beach bag or in our swim bag and just keep them on hand. So the next thing that I wanna to talk to you about sunscreen is that we need to get two different kinds of sunscreen. I like to use the spray sunscreen because it's quick and easy and spray them down right when you leave your room and then you can go off and go swimming really quickly. And then especially as they're getting in and out, needing to re redo it after like a two hour time period, they don't wanna waste a whole lot of time waiting for the sunscreen. So I spray them down really quick. The problem with that is that regular sunscreen, whether it's an aerosol spray or an actual lotion sunscreen, is that there are rules with coral reef in Hawaii. And so, well, in any coral reef area that you're gonna go to, you need to find sunscreens that are coral reef friendly. And I don't know exactly what ingredient that is, but I know that Alba is the sunscreen that works for coral reef safety. So when I saw the Alba sunscreen at Target, it is more pricey. And so I'm gonna actually look at Costco and make sure that I can get a better deal at Costco. I do need to buy quite a bit of it and I probably will stock up on it a little bit because I don't wanna be a cause of problems for the coral reef in you know, anywhere we go. So I didn't know about that the first couple times that we went to Hawaii and I feel bad. So what I'm gonna do is have that type of sunscreen for the days that we go to be the beach, especially when we know we're gonna go to the beach. And then if we only are gonna go to the pool um, that we know of, at least for you know a two to four hour time frame, but I'll use the other kind of sunscreen, one to save money and just kind of the ease of using it. So. I'm gonna check at Costco because I think I'm gonna get a better deal on that brand of sunscreen and stock up on it there. So until I do that, I'm not gonna stock up on the other kind because I'm not gonna know exactly how much I need. So on that note, that's kind of all we have, except that I did go to the dollar spot. I mean, it's really cute. It's a salt and pepper shaker in the shape of a flower pot. I mean, I collect salt and pepper shakers and it's only $3, and it's really cute. And I've done really, really well. This is to my husband, who's gonna say we didn't need a flower pot salt and pepper shaker. You're right. He likes to hear that he's right. You are right, dear Jason. We do not need a salt and pepper shaker in the shape of a flower pot. End of story. But I still bought it, and you still love me. So, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. We are getting ready to go to Hawaii. We're excited about our trip. Um, I just wanna give you ideas of what to get snack-wise as well as stocking up and ready for travel. Stay tuned, I've got some good travel videos coming up and how to pack all of these snacks for a flight that is going to save your life. Trust me, you've done this before and we always get comments on this when we travel, especially with lots of kids. This is gonna save you. So make sure you subscribe Come back for more, and we're gonna have a lot more travel tips, and then we're gonna have a lot of vacation videos. So thanks guys, take care, bye-bye. Mirash? Uh-oh. <laughs>